You're not gonna teach your kids how to fight watching Navarrete. No, you're not. But he can finish. That's something that even he can't explain. He says, I know it's not pretty. I understand that, but it works for me. But that's what makes him very hard to fight. And Navarrete did what Navarrete does. He finds he the shot the or the rhythm that he needs to get the job done. on his punches like that That's chopping right hand right he hurt his right. hand right there too he did he damaged his hand Navarrete trying to shake off his right hand after landing a hard punch and a knockdown beats him down again dog boy can't keep taking those shots knockdown man. scored ah. that's it mm. towel is thrown in you said he's trained to go to danger well guess what he ran to the roar and the lion ate him all night long that was a brutal beatdown that Isaac Dogbay just took. In the 12th round. That was the punch with the right hand that I think did it in terms of not only causing Paul Dogbay to step in and stop the fight, but also further probably injuring the right hand of Navarrete. But it was only a matter of time. I think, I, I think that Dogbay's corner probably could have stopped this fight a little. Never saw it. His signature Eight. punch Eight. and Eight. he Eight. Uppercut Eight. in the midst of it, and he goes down again. Beautiful combination Eight. from Navarrete. Navarrete, straight back goes Diaz, and coming forward like a freight train comes Navarrete. Second knockdown oh, score of this six, eighth round. Bloodied, seven, battered, eight, damaged eight, is Diaz. Navarrete closing oh, in on goodness. defending his title, and Diaz on wobbly oh, legs. How much can you possibly oh, take goodness. and still be giving? Oh, Navarrete's damaging him badly. Damaging him so badly. That's it, fellas. Don't need Gotta to go be anymore. it. You don't need to go anymore. That's it. He That's just good. ragged on him. It's good. over. They're up on the apron. The fight is over. You cannot possibly give more than what Diaz just gave, yet take more. Navarrete, sublime, superior performance, and the champ raised up high, defending his title. This was just unbelievable work by both guys, showing heart, will, going down to the end of this round. You see Diaz takes a big punch right there. He's trying to give it all he got. He's trying to stay on his feet. Navarrete is just too strong, coming from angles, different angles, from the southpaw stance, the right-handed stance, and then down goes Diaz. Diaz gave everything that he had. You rarely see this in a boxing ring. You hear fighters talk about giving it everything they had. But until you put yourself in harm's way and risk getting knocked out or beat up, you haven't given everything that you have. Diaz did that. He came here to win a championship. Sometimes you don't leave with the championship. You don't leave with the victory, but you leave with your respect, and Diaz did that tonight. Good jab, and that establishes a flurry of punches from Emmanuel Barrete. Big left hook from the fighter from Mexico City. You can tell Navarrete right now, he's going for it. He smells blood, he feels his opponent weakening, and he's trying to get it over with right now. You see the round. body language too of Panchito Orta changing. He's got him up against the corner, and this is where Emmanuel Navarrete does his best work. And you can hear the crowd appreciating. But we saw what happened with another valiant fighter in Miguel Gonzalez who wasn't throwing punches and was taking punishment. And here it comes to an end once again. And Miguel Navarrete with a big knockout of Panchito Orta in his fourth title defense. The first time he does it on home soil. And Navarrete comes.
continues to impress. Just overpowering Orta. Look at how he sits down on these shots. He's looking for to land a well-placed shot. Here he is, just, just landing a barrage of punches. And then the follow-up, nice lead left hook right there from Navarrete. Digging down to the body, just punishing Orta with power shots. And it was a body shot in. that prompted Roberto Ramirez Jr. to stop the fight because no. that's the wince that he saw on the face. <laughs> Down goes De Vaca here in round two of his world title Vaca. challenge. I'm just seeing Navarrete, he's just too strong. too strong. And now it's getting real ugly for De Vaca. And he's squared up, Dre. Somebody need to save this young man. He gonna get hurt. It won't be long. It won't be long. Oh mm. man, the vicious shots from Navarrete. Navarrete landing as expected against the fighter who didn't have a chance to knock him out in this fight. In Devaca, he's putting on a valiant effort. But you guys are right. Manny Robles is looking in. Man. He's not gonna let his guy take too much punishment. But that body shot hurt Devaca right there. Mm. Mm. Right back to the head. From Neverete. It's That's, pick your poison time. Listen, it's unnecessary punishment right now. And the reason why the ref is not stopping in and stepping the action That's is it. because the Vodka is fighting back. And he finally decides to step in and stop this action. That's a lot of punishment for only three rounds of fighting from the Yes, it is. Conserving energy and looking to pick it up as this round goes on. Pedro Navarrete had a sense of urgency in the corner telling him, look, I need you to have a sense of urgency because this fight is getting away from you. <laughs> and how quickly things can change. <laughs> and it's over. <laughs> how quickly things can change. <laughs> Emmanuel Navarrete, who looked like a fighter coming off a long layoff. Imperfect, flawed, needing to find his rhythm. And just as we're hearing the report that his trainer said, you have to have a sense of urgency, the fight is over. <laughs> the liver shot ends it in six. He is still in pain right now, and that liver is still pulsating. One ringside judge had Baez up in a clean sweep. Another judge had Baez up, and then one judge was favoring Navarrete. So Navarrete with the third defense of his WBO featherweight title. It happens with the six round knockout of the single body shot to the liver. He said, I don't throw a perfect left hook, but it's perfect for me. Was it ever? And it was the end for Eduardo Baez. Short break and we'll wrap things up from San Diego.